friends, I'm Colonel Failure, this is Train Fever. Last time around, we spoke of setting up three hub cities in order to achieve our goal of having three towns with, uh, with significant... Uh, significant levels of population and uh, here I'm, I'm stood outside the first one I'm stood outside John Field um, last time out we hooked this up onto uh, onto a slightly larger rail network in order that it you know start to pick up a little bit and to be honest it's doing all right you know we've got 14 passengers waiting at internal here uh, we've got uh, 28 in total waiting for the train this is okay. Uh, it's not quite as good as we'd like, but uh, you know, it's a it's a starting point. And just to put it into into context of how it's doing against other towns, John Field, John Field. I have done my usual trick of picking one of the lowest population towns. Hey, no one ever said it was fun unless you were making it more difficult for yourself. So today I'm going to connect it up to another town because uh, as much as good services are vital to uh, to fueling growth. You can't knock having passengers uh, queued up and waiting to roll as a, as a driver towards growth. So I'm going to look at uh, connecting Dronfield here up with Letchworth right there. Uh, yeah, I know, it's a, it's a radically difficult route, but uh, you know somehow we'll muddle through. And I think we'll probably work our way into doing, I think Thong might be a fun route next. Now, I'm, I'm assuming it's a, it's a real place. Uh, I don't believe the game uh, arbitrarily makes up hilarious names for towns, but uh, you never know. Um, alternatively, that might be a better one to do first, given that I've already got growth going on there. So, uh, what should we do? Come on, make a decision, man. You should have decided this before you pressed the record button. I think that's probably the more sensible one to do, but it's also more expensive. And Letchworth is unloved at the moment much like in the real world so uh, let's uh, let's get cracking now I think I'll probably upgrade this uh, this highway at the same time and make that a, a mainline highway but let's have a look about station placement because we've got Stamford here which is also possibly fun along with Dinnington uh, dinner time there uh, which which could also be be beneficial so We've got a straight shot, so I think we're probably going to put our station here to allow for a round there and then a round there. Yeah, why make things complicated? Let's let's keep it simple. Let's get it done. Let's make progress. So uh, while I'm while I'm drawing here, uh, last time out, I I said that you know I thought that that maybe I'd I'd uh, I'd covered train fever now. I you know that maybe I'd uh, I'd hit a point where. There wasn't an awful lot left to say. Um, the the feedback came back that people are still keen, keen to see the train fever happening, um, but uh, but maybe ease it in with some uh, some alternate uh, some alternate programming. So uh, so that uh, you can expect that to happen this week. I'm going to keep up the double episodes temporarily, uh, or am I? I don't know. I, I I expect I'll probably keep double episodes up for a while. So two episodes a week. Um, but uh, but expect in the uh, in the fullness of time, or actually in not even in the fullness of time, in the relatively near future, for this to be uh, downgraded to secondary status. Uh, for those of you watching this who are uh, fans of um, what's the other game? Uh, A train. Uh, I've not abandoned it. It's it's not gone and forgotten. The the difficulty with A train is. Uh, well, it's not a difficulty so much as uh, the, the best way I've found to record a train is actually to play quite a lot of it, and then give you a, a, a kind of a, a spoken word update. That makes it sound quite Ill, you know, illustrious. Uh, give you a, a you know a full update episode on what's uh, on what progress has happened. Actually, building the stuff while recording hasn't worked well for me in the past. So um, yeah, so a train's quite time consuming, which is why it's. It's kind of fallen by the wayside a little bit for the moment, but I haven't ignored it. I'm, it's not abandoned. That with, uh, plus the, uh, the the latest A train is coming out, hopefully in English um, soonish, and, uh, and my hope is to uh, to cover that when it comes out. Anyway, I'm playing Train Fever, uh, so let's start mumbling about that instead of other games. Right, you look. Instead of going downhill, what happens if I keep you straight? I find it hard to believe that the there's that much height difference. 
Hmm. What's going on here? Why are you? Why are you? Why are you? Yeah, you see that? That doesn't feel terrifically brilliant. Let's uh, see what we get. And now you're. No, no, no. See, I can't help but think that if I'd have just drawn a straight line all the way to the station and accepted the first proposed routes that it chucked at me, that I would be a happier individual right now. So as we as we head towards Letchworth, I can't help but notice the the, the oil uh, well here and uh, and go. Where's there an, uh, an oil refinery nearby? Because that would be quite good fun to uh, to generate some goods action. All right. Well, that's the route I want to go in, so uh, I'm sorry, Connecting Road, you're, uh, you're out of here. We'll plumb that back in in a mo. And hopefully I've left enough room there to, uh, to get the other side of the track in. Now, I'm only going to run one train down here for the moment. Uh, I spoke last time that, uh, you know, maybe it was time we started running multiple trains down some of these tracks. Um, and it could well be. I mean, I've got some cash, although I seem to have blown through a couple of million just now. I wonder if it was uh, this uh, slightly slightly hefty route that was the, the spend. Um, yeah, I, I mean, you know, I definitely want to be running multiple trains down all these tracks. And I think that, you know, in order to keep, the, keep this playthrough interesting, what I'm going to want to be doing is... Uh, is getting up the number of trains. Uh, you know, it was something I considered doing in the last series of this. This is the very strange route I've decided to take. Um, yeah, I mean, I, last time around, I, I, you know, I, I spoke about uh, trying to get as many trains as possible going down my routes, uh, purely because, you know, it's quite fun to see when you've got a heck of a lot of traffic going. Um, so maybe that's what I'll aim for with this one. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll try and really beef up the number of services that we've got in operation. I don't exactly know. Right, okay. Well, that was painless, wasn't it? Up and ready to rock. So let's get a new uh, a new route running here. We'll load a new line. Dromfield, Letchworth. Right, so uh, from Dromfield, there you go. Thank you. Up to Letchworth. And this is obviously going to be called Dronfield. Dronfield Lech. Oh, lovely. That's that's a, a name for the ages, that one. And uh, let's uh, let's get ourselves a train in motion. Okay, what have we got? So they've just introduced the crocodile. Now the crocodile isn't brilliantly suited to passenger services. It's great for you know hefty hefty freight trains, and I'm not there yet hefty freight train wise uh, I think I'm going to, unless this is an R yeah, no it's not, uh, I think I'm going to throw in an A3 here because they they get the job done uh, with 100 plus passenger capacity there we go, 102 I think, there we go, oh, nice right, and then we'll uh, we'll bash this on to Drumfield Lech, there we go Okay, so, you know, I, I say it every time, and this is one of those times, it's obviously going to take a little while for demand to build up. But once it does, hopefully, this should be uh, quite a fun route. Now, I've not, what I haven't looked at is, uh, is any points or any, um, uh, any particular route anomalies yet. And maybe I should do that swift. I should I put it here? Uh, give me a bus depot. That's a bad place for a bus depot. That's a good place for a bus depot. Okay. Uh, route new line. Letchworth internal. There we go. Right. All right. Smashing. So, um, I've, I've dabbled with the, the notion of, uh, of not bothering with inter, internal. It's a fun word, but not the right word. Uh, yeah, I've dabbled with the idea of actually abandoning these internal routes, but you know what? I can't help but uh, but notice that they they do help. Uh, maybe in a, a slightly intangible fashion, but they do help nonetheless. Now we shouldn't be too far away from having some new vehicles turn up, but uh, 
nothing so far. Letchworth internal, there we go. Get to work. Right, let's see where our train's got to, and then I think I'm going to study this uh, this oil well here and uh, and see if we can't uh, can't turn that into something magnificent. Yeah, we're going to need some points here, aren't we? I feel it in the water. There we go. So we're only running single train down here at the moment, but I'm you know I'm going to stick uh, I'm going to stick signals on anyway. That might interfere with the points, but I'm only running one train, so let's uh, let's not get overexcited. Now, I mean, um, the in the in the previous playthrough, assuming you haven't watched it, uh, one of the the fundamentals of that playthrough was uh, building loops. Uh, in fact, so many loops that uh, that you know it was it was loop tastic stuff. It really was, um, which is great. And this isn't snapped together, which is incredibly unhelpful. All right, let's pause the game and fix that, shall we? Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so, so loops were a, were a fundamental in that playthrough, um, and the the good thing about loops is that it allows you to run a hell of a lot of trains up a uh, you know a relatively short amount of track because they're always going in the same direction. With point to point, no, you've just laid it in exactly the same place. What's the matter with you? Um, uh, the, the problem with point-to-point -point services is they don't like doing that quite so much because obviously you're going in and out of the same stations. Right, let's make sure this actually properly. There we go. Like that. That's that's how I need it. I don't know if you two have fallen out or something. Right, thank you. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, point to point services. Yeah, and uh, point to point services means you are going to end up waiting on both sides of a, a station potentially. And uh, as such, you need to be a little bit more careful than I tend to be. Uh, no, that's not true. I'm pretty good with signals. Anyone who says otherwise is just mean spirited. Um, yeah, it, it's, you do have to get your signals right, otherwise, you could end up with a complete logjam of, uh, of, of vehicles, trains, whatever. Um, but hopefully it won't come to that. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to do on a point-to-point -point basis. So here's Dromfield, right? And this uh, this chap here is coming in from Ilford. So let's uh, let's zoom out and, and look at the uh, look at the landscape as we see it. So we've got Ilford to Dromfield to Letchworth, and then we're talking about Stamford and we're talking about Dinnington. So I think the Dromfield is our focus. So we could do a thong drum field. And at the moment, I'm just doing shuttles. I'm just doing there and back and there and back and there and back. Oh, actually, we've we got bore and wood on the go as well. We haven't we? Uh, drum field bore and wood. Okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, these shuttle services are all well and good. But uh, actually, they might, be the, they might be the route to happiness. Hmm. Now is not the time to be to be considering this particular question, I don't think. I, you know, it's, it's quite busy. I'm going to need a bigger station here, I can see. There we go. You're no clay cross, my friend. Uh, let's just, while we're in the area, let's, uh, let's get some minimum streetage going across as points. Which, obviously, it's not going to do across the signals. Or there, for reasons. Can I... Look, why? Why are you? Why is this upsetting to you? I'm I'm perfectly comfortable with it. Oh, is those points then? Yeah, damn it. Uh, all right. Well, in which case, let's try something a little bit more contentious. Oh, oh, oh you want to try something completely contentious? Uh, what about going the other way? Now that's a little bit further downfield than I would usually like. In fact, it's still it's still colliding, isn't it? It's because I'm trying to go over points. Ah, ridiculous. Uh, I must have left some space somewhere. Because the the difficulty is, if I don't provide uh, a means for these uh, for for the road to go under the rail, we'll be left either with uh, with no connection. Uh, 
between the two sides. So yeah, let's just do that. Um, yeah, if I if I don't figure out a way for, for one side of the town to reach the other, then we either end up with a town that only exists on one side of the river, or in this case, one side of the track, uh, or the uh, the AI will build it uh, in the way it sees best. And that is not always the way that actually is the best. There we go. I'll put a little, little wiggler on the end of there and give it some give it some options. And uh, and given that you know this town is going to see a fair amount of expansion, I do want to make sure that uh, that it can do so without interfering with my uh, my plans for world domination. That might be a little close to the station. I'm leaving space by the station because I want to get four tracks in there, potentially. I haven't decided for absolute certain yet, but potentially this will be a four track station. So uh, I want to make sure I've got enough space for it to do that. Really there. And, uh, we'll see what the AI makes of it. Right, we were going to look at oil. Let's have a quick look. Oh, yeah, what's going on? Oh, that's, a, that's a very attractive road. That's actually not the right road. And why is why is there a but? Where are you going, Letchworth Internal? Where? What? Show me your route. If you noticed this earlier, why didn't you say something? Uh, Letchworth Internal. Show me the route, please. Yes. Interesting. And again, I'm going to raise the question: Where are you going? What's your plan, Mr. Bus Driver? He's looking at his sat-nav right now, going... No, I, I think I must have missed a left. Oi! How about you go to the depot? Hello? There you go, we've, we've cranked it up to maximum speed. Ah, there! Oh, he's had a thought. Right, no, and now... You know, just because this is how I roll, you're not actually going to the depot. Letchworth, internal. Get to work. How very odd. Um, oil. Yes. Okay, so we've got oil here. What we're looking for is... In fact, let's uh, let's turn the cargo display on. I, I, I prefer to keep the cargo display off usually because... Well, firstly, it's a bit immersion breaky. Ah, uh, here we go. This is our fella right here. Oh, and another one. And there's some more oil. We could possibly tap both of those. And I think that's what I'll get up to next time around. Yeah, I, okay, so next time up, what we're going to do is we're going to build two oil train system track deals. Working both of these two. Now, the problem with this one is that actually exporting the goods is going to be a complete pain. So maybe, maybe I'll just do one. Because uh, the secret to growth with, uh, with, with goods facilities is the amount of places they can ship the finished product to. And that one didn't have many options. But what have we got going on here? Where are you up to? 115 of 200. Handsome. Uh, let's turn cargo back off again. We should be able to see it for ourselves. Uh, where's the next one? This looks promising. Where are you up to? 118 of 200. That's okay. The 200 range is perfectly acceptable. Uh, where's the others? Say others, there might only be one. No, I think I've got two wood road routes operating, I think. Uh, Duke in field. What a mess. Look at the mess of the network here. Uh, what have we got? 214 of 400. Come on. That's lovely. Um... Good, and then there's one more, which I'm pretty sure is out here near Earthlingborough. Two of 25. That's lousy. What's your problem? Try to deliver more wood. Well, okay, that doesn't sound like it's an unreasonable... Uh, nothing waiting there. Production seven. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, where's this truck going? Jukenfield Athletic. It's on Earthling Lumber. Maybe I just need to stick some more trucks on it. Anyway, I'll, uh, maybe I'll give that a look at the start of the next episode. Thanks very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. You've been lovely. Um, 
uh, ooh, what shall I say now? Uh, leave a comment. What do you think? Uh, like, subscribe, uh, tune in next time. Um, I think you look particularly magnificent today. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Cheerio. This, this, this.